Hey, how y'all doing? It's Free for Comics and Unboxings coming at you with another video. Today we got uh, another monthly subscription box in. What did we get? We got the Bam Gamer box. Uh, I'm only doing this video because I don't know why. Unfortunately, mm, Bam has had a couple of bad reviews lately and uh, I got the horror box in and I kind of saw what was in the horror box before it came so it kind of let me down a little bit so i kind of just opened it and i was like i thought i was a little disappointed some people were okay with it but a lot of the horror fans are just like who is this why what's yeah, i'd rather this and i'd rather that so i kind of just didn't post a video i mean i have the horror stuff right here i can show you really quick i mean i'm not gonna do a big fancy unboxing for it I be I, I kind of bothered by it, but we got Children of the Corn pen, which honestly is kind of cool. I mean, I'd like to get no, not the pen, but something better for it. But the pen's not bad. The pen's not bad. Uh, then we got the fan art print, which you know, again, it's okay. It's not like holy crap, that's cool. It's just got you know. Some of the main horror people. I can't remember who the uh, nun is. If you know the nun, let me know. I can't remember who she is. But, you know, I got Annabelle and some other stuff. I mean, it was, it's okay. I, me, personally, I'm not much of a horror fanatic. You know, I watch the horror films and stuff like that. But they didn't really got, got me. So, I was like, yeah, okay. But then we got, you know, the artist select card. And we got this. This is what's really... Uh, uh, Everybody's really getting irritated about. I, I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, a few months back, we got something that was actually pretty cool, just because of the storyline, storyline of it of the movie. But in this, we got kind of the same thing, right? Agatha Crispies. Now, if you uh, uh, if you know what this movie this is from, please comment below because I didn't check and I wasn't. I'm not 100 percent sure. But, I mean, you got a cardboard cutout of a breakfast cereal box. I, I mean, to me, this is absolutely garbage. This this is worthless. You, you shouldn't put something like this in the box. That's my opinion. But this is like, hey, I'm going to put a print on some cardboard and send it to you. It, you know, it might cost me five, five cents to make. It, it's just, it's trash. The one that came in the BAM... Uh, uh, the BAM, uh, I think it was the other geek box it was actually cool because what it was, if I, I should have had it ready. It was space ball cereal box. Now that's cool because you know, space balls, everybody likes space balls as a comedy. It's pretty funny. It's been around for a long time, but the picture quality on the space balls one was fuzzy. It was grainy. It was kind of like, yeah, but I get the idea of it. That was pretty cool. But then you kind of start repeating it. That's where you start drawing the line, start getting the originality starts going out the window, and you start getting for cheaper stuff. Granted, this box is thirty bucks. You get you get all this stuff, plus you get a signature that's now Beckett, Beckett certified. When they uh, did this Beckett certification, you know they rose the the price of the box up four dollars to pay for it. Cool. I understand that, but then you start giving crap like that box and i'm pretty sure that i saw another one coming in the geek box or the gamer box or the, i'm pretty sure there's another cardboard breakfast cereal thing coming out i make mean, why um it's like when they came out with the other horror box they did uh the ring tape i don't know if you saw my other videos i think it's on there but they did a ring tape whole vhs tape with a freaking scratched up a little bit with a little um little note piece of paper on it i get the idea but that seriously couldn't took you more than two seconds to make and throw in a box if you're going to take people's money put a little effort into your products just a little make it blend make it go together but when i got that tape i'm like there is no reason for me to have this why do i have it garbage throw it away you can't collect it anymore. It's, it's garbage. Nobody's going to buy a VHS tape. You, you can do that yourself. <laughs> so why would you? Why? 
Why would you throw it in a box? And the other thing that came out was um, from the thing, the little uh, little vials of the red, uh, the blood samples. Same thing. Garbage. You think you have the little vi plastic vial, five cents, put a little red on there, put a little name tag on it, write it in there, done. You know, that might take you 10 cents to make. Why throw it out of the box? It's just garbage. Nobody's going to buy that. They see it in the store. Oh, that's so cool. Let me go buy this. No. That's just, that's not going to work. So that's kind of what I'm getting with these boxes. It's just kind of just junk. And you're not going to keep this. I, I understand the idea. Some people might like this. But you can't, there's no really collectability in this. And that's what he's saying. You get these boxes for collectibles, collectability. So you got to have something that kind of piques your interest. But anyway, rent over. I'm come want to see what's in this because I hope they're not going down the same path. But they're starting to get a little uh, lazy, I guess. And I've always I've been a spam supporter for past year and a half. I have everything over there in the box of all their pins, all the stuff. I I like them. I love their ideas. But when the quality starts going down for the money, then you start becoming into a loot loot crate kind of area. You know, they were kind of doing the same thing. And you can't you can't do that. You, you want to keep people interested. And throwing, repeating stuff is not keeping people interested. So anyway, and then this is the autograph from the horror box. And I'll read it who it is because I don't, I don't, I don't have a clue. So this is... True fans of horror have never forgotten George Romero's original Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead. That's it. So he's from Dawn of the Dead. Himself, Mike uh, Christopher. So he's right there. He's right there. Sorry. I'm trying to make sure I got it in there. But yeah, that's the horror box. You know, the pin and stuff is kind of cool, but you know... This really starts throwing people and you get crap like this. So, anyway, like I said, rant over. Let's get into the gamer box. Let's see what we got this month. I haven't seen any spoilers on this yet. Um, so, we won't be let down by anything. We'll see my true opinions and reactions because I haven't seen anything on this yet. So, anyway, 29 95 or 99 or 95 shipped uh, out the door to ya. Uh, artist select card. Scratch off, prop replica, print, uh, art print, uh, signed something, chance to pop uh, upgrades and prop replicas and or uh, yeah. But anyway, paper. Then we got all the cards. Let's put this over here. We got the pin. See what the pin is. Oh, that's cool. See, that's cool. That's a good start. We got Toad from Mario Kart with his little banana. That's actually kind of cool. Not bad. I actually like that. That's awesome. Uh, our select card we got. This is, see? Oh, it's a gamer box. That's right. It just came out Dead by, Dead by Night. I think it's a video game. This is one of the new characters that they just came out with. Dawn by Dead or Dead by Night or something like that. I can't remember who this is. Uh, if you know, put in the description below so people will uh, know who this is. I'll probably read it and let you know. But still, put it down there if I don't. Oh, see? They did it. It was in this box. It was in this box. What we're talking about right here. That's what we're talking about. What is this? Lucio's. Absolutely no idea. It's that I'm sorry, that's junk. That's absolute junk. Nobody's gonna go in the store and buy that. That's why I think it's absolute junk. But we got the art print and that over here. That's it. We got nothing else in the box. Quick, easy box, but we do have 
two scratcher offers because uh, some people didn't get any. Uh, I got all my scratch offs in my boxes, but for some reason they decided to send me two. They were supposed to keep track of who didn't get what, but apparently they didn't. So we'll take two scratch offs and we'll take uh, maybe two losers. Holy crap, guys. You're witnessed it first here. Someone actually winning on a YouTube video a prize. Holy crap. See, then you back talk, you bad mouth them, and then all of a sudden they send you, send you one thing, a pin upgrade box. So no matter what, my next box will be pin upgraded. How awesome is that? So what you get for back talking them? It shut you right up with a freaking instant winner. Okay, this second scratch off, 4K TV, Echo Dot, and an Echo Dot. So, we didn't win on this one. But hey, a winner is a winner. It figures. You back talk somebody and company, and you say how much they're going downhill, and they give you a winner. But this, this needs to stop. <laughs> this needs to stop. If you agree with me, put in the comments. Let me know if you agree. If you disagree, and that's fine, just... Write a comment why you think you disagree. But to me, I mean, they shove them in the boxes, they print them, and they're just pretty much ruined. You can't, I mean, they're all bent and stuff like that. I can't. Unless you find someone a true fan for that stuff, you're never going to sell it. It's just going to sit around. So anyway, that's the um, card with the spoilers on it. Fan art print. We got... What do we got? Fan art print. Um, uh, it's a Viking. This was... What box was this? Gamer box. Gamer box. I don't think this is the bad guy from uh, Gods of War. I don't know, maybe I'm missing something here. We'll find out on the cheat sheet. Find out on the cheat sheet. All right. See what we got for the autograph. Hopefully something good for uh, for this. What do we get? Hopefully it's the right direction. Probably not. Let's go this way. What do we get? No idea. It's a cool signature, though. Signatures right there. No idea. I knew Toad on all this. Toad, one guy. One guy. And I thought I was a gamer. I'd pay attention to stuff that was going on, but apparently I don't. So let's go over this stuff really quick. We got fan art print. Assassin's Creed. Just keeps getting better. Valhalla. That's why. I played all the other Assassin's Creed's. But I have not played this one yet. That makes a lot of sense. The Black Flag, I was on it a couple times, but uh, I've done all the other ones. I have the Odyssey. I beat that one really fast. <laughs> I haven't played it since I beat it, but I know they came out with uh, some updates and stuff. But uh, that's why. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I haven't, haven't got it yet. Prop Replica. Anyone who's played Overwatch knows it's important to keep up with your reflexes, that's why better way to keep eating your Lucio's straight from the game, the breakfast nook. All right. Can you guys tell me how the frick this is for a video game? Uh, I know Overwatch. I, I have, I've never played Overwatch. I've watched a lot of videos of people playing Overwatch. You know, it's a battle royal game. It's pretty fast paced. But what the hell does this have to do with Overwatch? And as being a prop replica. Please, honest opinions, let me know what the hell this has to do with Overwatch as a prop replica. I mean, I'm, I'm a little lost with that one. Anyway, with Halloween coming, we knew it was time to div to dive into the spooky side of gaming. And it was better to start than to bring you the Pyramid Head from Silent Hill. That's it, Silent Hill. He's from Silent Hill. But they also uh, got him in Dead by Daylight or something like that. They just integrated him into that silent hill there you go so we got that but gamer for i guess it works but anyway let's get to this 
Let's get to this, because I do not know. From the biggest eSport game of all time, DOT2, D-O-T-A-2. No idea. I've never heard of that. We are able to track down and deliver to you John Patrick Laurie, the voice of the fan favorite character Doom. And of, of course, we know Doom. That, of course. Uh, Arthur Shaker, Purge, and more. Laurie is well known for his work in games starring in multiple Halo games, Infamous, and Half Life 2. Just to uh, name a few. See? Halo, Infamous, all that stuff I know. But DOTA? Is it short for something? Because uh, I have no idea what that is. I guess I'll look it up after this and find out for sure what this is. But this is obviously... I was thinking this was like a Doom character, kind of redone. But uh, I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, that's who it is. That's what's in the gamer box. Uh, so far, you know, these four items, not bad. Not bad. Pretty cool. I mean, for some reason, their fan art prints are always better than these <laughs> i hate to say it but sometimes these are i mean if this thing was signed this would be amazing i'd rather take this over this but uh get what you get sometimes but uh our select card and the pin i think i'll keep the pin i mean who doesn't like mario kart i mean it's been around forever you know with me i've been around since nintendo I never really played on atari uh, I think we had it a couple times, but me and my brothers, it was always Nintendo, you know, Super Nintendo, Sega, Game Gears, and all that stuff. We, I mean, we we thrived in everything, so we played a lot of video games, but DOTA, I'm kind of missing out on that one. I'm not sure. But anyway, yep, kind of pissed off about these. I'm not going to lie. These are garbage. Uh, if you're going to do a collectible box, make sure this shit's collectible. Excuse my language. I'm sorry. That's just how I feel. Uh, it's just like some of the other stuff they did. Uh, you need filter items. That's fine. You guys can do something a little different besides that. I mean, it's just like they're uh, bam big boxes. You know, I don't know if you any of you guys got them or saw my videos, but they send a little package of little aliens, plastic aliens. They're like, you get a dollar store. You know, it's just like, why are those in there? Uh, they did uh, a horror one, Stephen King one, and they gave Misery's Hammer. The hammer was this big. Why? Why give someone a sledgehammer that's this big? That doesn't make any sense to me. And it's a hundred something dollar box. Come on. Bam's been doing great. They've been doing fantastic stuff. They've been pushing. They just uh actually I ordered the anime box. They have an anime box too, and they have some other other upgrade boxes, but obviously money constraints. I can't get all the five boxes that they have. I'll get three, four. Four? Three. Three boxes. Four boxes. Nope. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Geek, gamer, horror, and anime box. I got four. There's six. There's six boxes because they have an ultra, uh, ultra box now. It's like a horror and something else. I haven't looked into them because they're like $79 for the ultras for two, for one or the other. And I was like, I. I can't. Four boxes is enough. So, yeah. <laughs> that's just, next one that should be coming um, should be the Geek Box. I haven't got it. I think I got shipping notification, so we should have the Geek Box. Sorry, I keep looking down. I'm trying to figure out which boxes I had, what I don't have. But, yeah. Honest opinion. Let me know what you guys think about the BAM. Let me know if you've seen the other videos, if they're getting better, if they're getting a little lax, a little lazy. Throw in some trash. Uh, just, just let me know. Comments below. You know, sometimes you never know when the people are gonna see videos and YouTubers and be like, "Hey, yeah, we need to take some feedback." So let's look at our band boxes, see how we've been doing, and you know, maybe we can have a response from it. I don't know. You know, you never know. Might be helpful. Might be helpful from the comments. Be like, "Oh, this guy's talking crap," but let me look at the comments. Oh no, the comments are pretty bad too. So. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. We'll never know. Hopefully, hopefully they'll, they'll uh, scope them out and get rid of this crap because there's no reason you should be getting cardboard cereal that's not relatable to anything. It doesn't make sense. I don't know how cereal it ties into a video game. I don't, unless it's like 
uh, GM or not GM, but Mills and stuff. They're they're still the products they do. They're special boxes that I understand, but this I don't. I'm sorry, I just don't understand it. But uh, comment below. Let me know what you think, please. I want to know your honest opinion. What you guys think? Uh, it's cool. I got an upgrade pin set for next next box. That's cool. I mean, I still got four decent items out of this box. There's just one that's kind of, eh. You know, everybody doesn't like everything. That's fine. But when you start a trend, that's when we start having problems. Like I said, I got with the Spaceballs box. Spaceball box. Spaceballs. Spaceballs box. Say that ten times fast. Perfectly fine. Understandable. It, Spaceballs is a cereal. It was a thing. It was in the movie for crying out loud. I get it. It works. It's awesome. It was funny. But then we start copying it. That's when we start having issues. So, anyway, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Stick around for more videos. I appreciate all you. Uh, I think I'm up to 110 scrub hubbers and all that stuff. Tell the truth, I don't really care. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I don't care if I get the thousands and thousands. It just, I like having you guys. I like having the feedback. I like interacting with you guys. Like I said, once we get to 200, um, We'll start doing giveaways because uh, I'll show you. I'll show you. We got comics upon comics. Come. I mean, we got giveaway stuff everywhere. <laughs> so I just want to start with uh, get some nor uh, some some people in here before we start giving away. Because, uh, you know, if I give away something, I'm, I'm not going to be... Uh, have anybody pay for shipping it's gonna be all on me it's gonna be completely free all the giveaway so i will kind of want a, a resounding audience before i just start spending money you know what i'm saying you guys get it you guys get it it's all money based anyway thanks for sticking around like i said like comment subscribe and i'll get to you another video all right later guys